Last week, we told you about the Newport Barracks and the project that was happening there this week. NKU students, they are teaming up with archaeologists, digging up artifacts after searching the area with ground radars. That happened earlier this year. So the Newport Barracks site played a role in U.S. Army ops for decades. The site's roots date back to 1804, initially serving as an arsenal and recruiting ground for the War of 1812. In 1813, it became a prisoner of war camp. And then after the war, the barracks acted as a recruiting station during the Mexican War and as a hospital and prison for pro-Confederate civilians during the Civil War. So the dig started today and our Jason Maxwell was there. We're going to be doing some digging. The Newport Barracks. Uh, it was a historical site. It was a military establishment that uh, ran from the 1800s into uh, the 1880s. The Newport Barracks was a crucial part of uh, America's story. There were several Civil War generals served here. Uh, Sheridan, Lee, Grant. They, this was a major military installation. And it really was key to the settlement of the West. Uh, what we would call a crossroads of America. Holy cow. <laughs> this is amazing. As an archaeologist, I mean, I always want to find stuff. I mean, that's just that's what it's about. But I'm, you know, intimately interested in history, you know, and, and, and that's what it's all about is to be able to see um, how things have changed over time and, and uh, just the history of the area here and how many and di different kinds of people who have lived here uh, over time, um, all the way from 10,000 years ago all the way up to today and a lot of times that history gets it gets hidden beneath the ground and my job as an archaeologist is to come by and, and expose that and uh, and tell those stories. This is the culmination of two years of study. Uh, uh, I'm doing a capstone on the Newport Barracks which is all, all that you can see around you. Some examples of so the more more recent things we have a piece of a dish um, probably a, a saucer or a plate this is probably from the late 1800s um, and then we have some, some older things. I saw this first. Um, we have uh, some broken rocks, which are fire cracked rocks, and these were cooking stones that Native Americans would have used. And then we have um, a piece of Native American pottery that was found, and this was down at the bottom um, where we were finding these things. So we, like I said, we've got, we've got evidence of people um, uh, from uh, thousands of years ago. Uh, this is probably from the 1200s, 1300s. 700 years ago. Everything that America was to become was sort of centered in the Cincinnati area. Then you don't have to go very far to find history. The greatest defeat in American military history happened about 100 miles from where we sit. So I mean this place was important, so important the begin, uh, beginning of the United States that it's wonder that we can do this. This is a chance of a lifetime for my students and a chance for a lifetime for the people of this region.